three Calgary police officers charged in an alleged corruption case were convicted Friday of criminal offences. Justice Brian Mahoney found Bradford McNish Brian Morton and Anthony Braille breached the law when they took part in surveillance work for an unlicensed private detective. Braille, Morton and McNish were each charged with unlawful use of a police computer database and bribery. Morton and McNish faced an additional charge of breach of trust of a public office and Morton and Braille were also charged with criminal harassment. McNish was acquitted of bribery, but the officers were found guilty of all the other charges. The corruption allegations stemmed from surveillance work conducted on former Calgarian Akele Taylor. Mahoney agreed with Crown prosecutors Leah Boyd and Julie Snowden that Taylor was the victim of systemic harassment beginning in August 2012 by several individuals over a child custody dispute between her and the wealthy father of her baby, Ken Carter. Mahoney was particularly scathing in his analysis of the office's conduct in assisting with the ongoing harassment of Taylor. He said despite suggestions by lawyers for the three men that Taylor should not be believed, he found her to be a credible witness, I find that the firm is. Taylor experienced was clearly reasonable, the Court of Queen's bench judge said, the surveillance was designed to intimidate, and to highlight the power imbalance between Mr. Carter and Ms. Taylor. Mahoney did not find the testimony of either McNish or Morton to be compelling, some of the answers were strategic and self-serving, he said of McNish's evidence, Mr. Morton was not a credible witness, he said later in his ruling. He also found an affidavit Braille swore in anticipation of civil action, which was made in exhibit, did not clear him of criminal wrongdoing. The judge found both Braille and Morton sold information from private police databases, such as the Canadian Police Information Centre, CPIC, thereby being guilty of bribery. I reject Morton's evidence that he was not paid to conduct CPIC searches. Mahoney said, Morton claimed payments he received from unlicensed private detective Steve Walton, a former police officer set to go to trial in September along with his wife and Carter, were for security work. In final arguments earlier this month, lawyers for all three sought acquittals. For example, defense lawyer Pat Fagan said Braille, who was fired from the Calgary Police Service over an unrelated incident, could not be convicted of bribery because he was suspended from the force at the time. Fagan said the former sergeant was suspended in 2010 and remained so when he took part in surveillance of Taylor in 2012 and 2013. Lawyers Jim Lutz, for Morton, and Paul Brennan, for McNish, suggested the Crown did not prove the allegations of police corruption against their currently suspended clients. The lawyers questioned the reliability of Taylor's testimony, in which she said she was harassed for months by the covert surveillance. Ms. Taylor was a manipulator, she was untruthful. Lutz said. Added Brennan, I would suggest, her character is such that the court needs to be very careful in assessing what she has to say as being the exclusive truth but the judge said Taylor's character didn't impugn her evidence. The case will return to court May 25th, so lawyers can review Mahoney's lengthy written decision. All three remain on bail pending sentencing. K. Martin at PostMedia.com and Twitter, at K. Martin Courts.